you don't hear? Can you hear that sound? That's our um, Maytag washer working in. Maytag A512. Let's see if we can. I don't know if I can do this or not. Sorry, I'm not holding the camera at all. I forgot about it. I was holding the camera. Nope, I turned it off. So this thing, oh, there we go. Accident. The file. The screwdriver won't stay in there. There we go. Now I'm, we're running a real load. So it's agitating. We already tested spin. So, uh,. Hopefully if everything goes through the cycle okay, no problems. It did it has over the years leaked a little can't that's just water where we spilled some water out of the drain hose, but uh, underneath you it doesn't leak enough, it's been years. It doesn't leak enough to come out all over the place, but uh, it has been dripping some uh, transmission grease oil. And I wanted to try to put some more in it, but this is a, this A512. You'd have to take the transmission out, from what I can see. And I, on all the videos I saw, there's a few you could take some bolts out of the top, but not this one. You know, and, and squeeze some oil in there. Some people are using 90 weight gear oil, which would probably work fine, but it's going to stink <laughs> if it leaks. Uh, one guy used. Now I forgot the name of the stuff. Stuff you add to car oil. And at first I thought, why were you doing that? And then I thought, you know, it might not be a bad idea. It might. Some of that stuff that, that's what I was kind of thinking. Some of that stuff that, uh, you know, try to help seals kind of soften them up and make them work better again. But we couldn't do that, but we put a new motor in it. And I guess I'll go around here and I'll show the old motor taken out. Um, I just put this down. I've got the motor down under the. There we go. I'll set it up on that. <clears throat> this is the old motor. That's barely tight enough gap to hold that. <laughs> That's the old motor. And out of the A512 Maytag. Those wires threw me off for a minute. I was counting wires and I couldn't see. It was kind of dark down in there. I had a light, but it wasn't enough. And I thought, oh no, we got. Well, actually, I didn't see them all. But I thought we had two ground wires instead of one, but these all go to the motor. This is called the motor switch. And uh, the new one has a different. Well, I think it just has a different type of motor switch. So we didn't need that. I was hoping. We'd be able to use this motor for, you know, a project, even just a grinder, you know, stand grinder on a stand or something. Uh, ultimately, a lathe. But I figure since uh, it may not, it may not have enough power to turn much of anything. I'd like to hook up and try it out off, you know, on the bench. <laughs> but. Uh, I don't think I'll do it now. I'm more smooth out. So, uh, I guess I'll go. I just wanted to show that we got the washer working. Alright. Bye-bye.